Do you understand the number of days in your menstrual cycle, my dear sister? Do you understand if you are having a 30-day cycle, if you are having a 28-day cycle? What if you are even having a long cycle, like a 35-day cycle? Do you know it? Do you know if you have a short cycle, like a 21-day cycle? Is your menstrual cycle regular? Is it irregular? Can you determine the fertile period within your menstrual cycle? That is the lesson we are learning now. My name is Dr. David Ayim, uh, Doctor of Philosophy in Public Health. You are a reproductive health expert, your midwife. I want to teach us today, especially the ladies, but I always will ask, if a man is concerned about the woman, the man should join the woman to understand the menstrual cycle. Sometimes you may be the one to alert the woman of something she might be forgetting or not taking note of. Sometimes you come to the hospital and we, we complain and the doctor asks you, what is your last menstrual uh, period? And a lot of women say, I don't remember. I cannot remember. You know, I don't, I don't put things like that in my head. And, 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 and some women feel proud, say so. I don't keep things like that in my head. What? You need to be reproductively conscious because your health, your life, the happiness, the joy in life can be jeopardized by a lack of knowledge of the reproductive system especially relating to the menstrual cycle. When your menses start dropping, the day menses start, that day, my dear brothers and sisters, that day is day one. That day is day one. Mark it in your calendar, day one. The day you Notice that menses or see blood coming out from your vagina and you have a feeling that this is my menses and not a disease. Mark that day as one. The next day is day two. The next day will be three. The next day will be four. Keep counting like that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Till the day you wake up the next morning and then you notice that menses have started flowing again. That new one is day one of a new cycle. Therefore, the last cycle ended yesterday. Therefore, how do you count the number of days in your cycle from the day menses start flowing to the eve of the next menses? You will now know if it took 28 days or it took 30 days for another one to start. Oh, it took just 24 days, or oh, 21 days, or oh, 32 days, or oh, that. That is why every lady needs to understand that her own menstrual cycle is unique to her. You are not going to be studying your mother's cycle. You are not going to be studying your sister's cycle, my dear sister. Study your own. Because a menstrual cycle depends on when your menses start. To when the next starts. How long did it take? I want to add this statement here. The number of days of flow, you know, when you see the blood flowing and you are wearing pad, you know, hygienic pad, you, 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 are, you are wearing them to protect the blood that is draining out from your womb through the vagina. The number of days of flow will not affect the number of days in your cycle. A lot of ladies make this mistake that when blood flows for the first four days and if it ended on that number four day some people wake up number five day and they start counting one another day two which is supposed to be number six day saying two the day that is supposed to be number seven he's saying three or oh, she's saying three you are confused you are confused you want to count to which direction oh my dear so the days that blood was flowing they are not part of your cycle if blood starts flowing today, that is day one. But it doesn't matter when the blood starts or the blood stops flowing. Continue to count the days. 
in obstetrics you know relating to pregnancy and related issues uh, or gynecology the, the number of days of flu uh, it doesn't really matter in determining the fertile period no but we know that the number of days of flu will range from three days to seven days but average of five days there are ladies that will say that when their menses come it flows only for three days and it has always been like that some ladies know that their menses flow for four days in some ladies it is five days yet there are ladies that it goes up to seven eight days and we will tell you that there are many factors that now can influence the number of days of flow of the menses. I want to add that the decidual lining inside the inner lining of the uterus, which I explained well in, in, in our last video, you can go back to check the video that I taught you the menstrual cycle, what happens between the brain and the ovaries and the womb to bring about menses. Get to that video and you are going to uh, meet up with me and we shall be at the same level. Ladies and gentlemen, the number of days of flu will vary from one woman to the other. But let this not affect your fertile period, the understanding of your fertile period. Those who have a short cycle, like even 21 days, they can have sexual intercourse with their husband even during menstrual flow and they end up discovering that they are pregnant. Yes, yes, yes. It's possible. It is possible. Now take 21 day cycle. What you need to know if you have been counting the number of days in your cycle, if this month is 28 and next month is, is, is 29 days, another month is 27, another month it goes back to 28, another time it went to 29, another time it comes back to 27. 20, you see, it's dangling only between 27, 28, 29. 27, 28, 29. Now take the average. The average is 28. Take it, the average that your menstrual cycle or the number of days in your cycle, or you have an averagely 28 day cycle. Simple. Because there are factors since it's human body function. You may just be stressed up for something. You may lose or lose a, a, a loved one and then you are very disturbed and the others, the, 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 the menses have to come. But it will not be remain forever. It may dangle forward and finally come back to the normal. It may dangle forward and come back to the normal. Take your time. Take like four months to six months. Take note of the number of days in your cycle. So that after about six months, you can now put them down and take the average. You will certainly know if you have a short cycle, you know, an average cycle or a long cycle. We also describe the menstrual cycle as happening in a cycle of every 28 days plus or minus 7. 28 minus 7 is 21. 28 plus 7 is 35. That tells you that the menstrual cycle may, may deviate from 28 days up to 7 days, either above or below. And it is still normal. Just study it for like six months or more and determine the number of days in your cycle. Now, if you have a 21-day cycle, my dear brothers, subtract 14. 21 minus 14 gives you 7. The seventh day of your cycle is the day you are ovulating, the day your ovary is releasing an egg. <laughs> yes, I shall explain why. If you have a 28-day cycle and you have confirmed that, no, my cycle is a 28-day cycle, subtract 14. 28 minus 14 is 14, meaning that the 14th day of your cycle is the day of ovulating. Now, what if the girl has a 30-day cycle? Will she still ovulate on day 14, the 14th day of her cycle? No! 30 minus 14 will give you about 16 telling you that the person who has a 30-day cycle, she will ovulate on the 16th day of her cycle. If she is counting from the day Macy started flowing, the day that is number 16, that's the day she's ovulating. Why? Because in the next 14 days, another message will start flowing if pregnancy has not occurred. 
That tells you that there is a phase of the menstrual cycle between ovulation and the occurrence of next menses. And that phase is constant in almost every woman. Go and study that science to understand that one phase of the menstrual cycle is constant in all women. And that is, if you know the day you ovulate, my dear sisters, start counting from that day. 14 days later, another message will start. If that egg that was ovulated is not fertilized. Because if that egg is fertilized, then you are pregnant. If it implants, then you are pregnant. Then when you are pregnant, you will not bleed again. So if somebody has a 32 day cycle, when will she be ovulating? Just say 32 minus 14. Because 14 is constant in every room. Just say 32 minus 14 is 18. It means that she will be ovulating on the 18th day of her cycle. What if she is having a long cycle like 35 days? 35 minus 14 is 21. <laughs> there are ladies that ovulate on number 21 day of their cycle, counting from the day Macy started. So what if she was following a 28 day cycle? Person who was thinking that she would ovulate on day 14 of her cycle. Is the person who has a 35 day cycle also going to ovulate on that day? No. Now, the person has a short cycle, just like 21 days. 21 minus 14 is seven. So if you're ovulating on day seven, is that not very near to your menstrual flow when menses is still flowing? But now, hear this. To understand your fertile period, three days behind the day of ovulation is a fertile period. Three days after the day of ovulation is part of the fertile period. Therefore, a fertile period in a woman is seven days. Three behind, three ahead, and the day of ovulation itself, that's three plus three plus one, is seven. Now, if you have a short cycle like 21 days, 21 plus minus 14 is seven. Three days again behind seven, you come back to six to five to four. It means that even if you have sexual intercourse on day four, on the fourth day of your menstrual flow, it is possible that you can get pregnant if your cycle is a 21 day cycle. Yes, because the sperms that come from a man, when he deposits them on, on that day four, the sperm cells can live for up to four days, my dear sister. Sperm cells can live inside the woman for up to four days. So if he ejaculated on that day four and the man had to even travel abroad, he would have maybe reached America and slept there. And your, his sperm is still inside you looking for egg. The egg that will be released, but on day seven. And on day seven, as soon as the egg is released, sperms were waiting around. It will be released on day seven. But the sperm that were waiting around will fertilize it. You are now getting fertilization three days or so after the day you actually had sexual intercourse. Yes. Yes. This is why every woman needs to know the day of ovulation so that she can count three days behind it and leave it if you don't want a pregnancy. She can count three days after it and leave it because after that day of ovulation, that egg can still live for up to three days, my dear brother. So if you are sending in sperm, you will just enter and make the egg there and fertilize it. Therefore, every woman has seven possible fertile days in a month. Even if your cycle is a 35 day cycle, only seven of those days have possibility of fertility. If you need a pregnancy, look for this period. Have sex, quality sexual intercourse, only during this period, the pregnancy will come. Any sexual intercourse, any other day, there will be no pregnancy. For those of you who think that when you're looking for pregnancy and it's not coming, you decide to have sex every day, you are causing yourself high blood. Not only high blood, the stress that you are facing, the hospital cannot treat you. We cannot, we cannot manage you. The, your own dullness and, I mean, excuse my words, I don't know what dullness or, or inadequate knowledge, the, the, the rate, the degree is alarming. Because any sex you are having any day, which is not within these seven days, just know that it's just your pleasure sex. You're just placing yourself. You're not looking for pregnancy. If you think, for those of you who husbands live in another town, wives live in another town, better think well and visit your wife if you want her to be pregnant. Visit her only during the fertile period. As I said, my name is Dr. David Ayin. Subscribe.
to this channel, Dr. David Reproductive Health. Thank you.